Thanks for joining us for Seek Tips and Tricks. In this video, we will review how you can use Seek tables and charts to create visualizations to share with your team. The first example is a daily condition with columns for average, maximum, and minimum temperature, and rows with daily values. From this table, I can switch to a column chart using the Chart View button in the toolbar. This lets me visualize how temperature changes daily. All numeric columns in my table will display by default when present. I can select alternative charts and control the series displaying from the menu on the right. I can close it by clicking the X. I may want different formatting on my horizontal axis. These charts follow the table, so using a different header format on the table will also update the horizontal axis. I can select Start to simplify the display and choose from a variety of pre-configured simple formatting date time options. The second example is a table with different batches that have properties and a solution concentration for each phase of a batch. When clicking on the Chart View button, I don't get anything helpful. First, I need to group and aggregate this condition table so it can have a meaningful representation. I'll group by Operation, then Phase, and then using the three-dot menu, add an aggregation so each grouped cell has a value populated. Now, when I click on Chart View, I see a chart representing each phase within each operation. This is nested because that was how it was displayed in the table. I can add a title to this chart from the Customize tab in the menu. Next, I have a simple table of downtimes across assets. I have already taken this single compressor down condition across all the assets and sorted the duration column in descending order. The order of data in the chart follows that in the table. After switching to the chart, I can select the asset column instead of the name column in the setup tab. This provides a more helpful legend. I can also see this as a donut chart. You can also use condition tables to compare different processes or equipment on a single XY plot. This requires you have signals for each process in the details pane and a shared condition to aggregate each signal over. You configure each aggregated signal as columns of a table and select the XY scatter option. In this example, each color represents temperature and humidity for a different area, allowing me to visually understand differences. Another use case is viewing additive feed rates in a single chart. If you have a single unit that is fed by several flow meters, you want to view them building on top of each other to result in the total feed. Traditionally in Seek, you might have several formulas that add the flow meters a signal at a time to get an accumulated rate. With a periodic condition and area charts, you can avoid formulas and add them up visually. You can manage which columns display on the Setup tab. Another visualization available is polar charts. These are often used for looking at radial spread temperatures in equipment like exhaust temperatures of turbines or temperatures around a reactor bed. Here I have a simple table across assets with average, min, max, and last value. Instead of comparing my compressor temperatures in a column chart, I will compare them in a radial line chart or spider chart. I can update the asset column to label the radial axes in the setup tab and modify the size of the labels in the Customization tab. This view lets me see where on a normal range any asset may be currently operating. Thanks for watching this video to see examples of visualizations you can create in Seek tables and charts to accelerate data-driven decisions with your teams.